Are you looking to switch away from Google Chrome or Firefox? Well, two browsers you may have seen mentioned online are LibreWolf and Florp. In this one, we'll be looking at both browsers, their features, and see which one is better. So both LibreWolf and Florp are clones or forks of the Firefox browser from Mozilla. Meaning they're literally just Firefox with modifications. LibreWolf focuses on added security and privacy, while Florp focuses more on speed and design features. Both browsers are free and open source and available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. LibreWolf is based on Firefox Stable or Rapid Release, so new features and patches from regular Firefox come to LibreWolf quicker. Meanwhile, Florp is based on Firefox Extended Support Release or ESR, so you will be running an older version of Firefox in terms of features, however security patches will be up to date. Despite being Firefox under the hood though, these browsers are not developed or in any way affiliated with Mozilla Corporation. Let's look at LibreWolf and its features. One of the reasons people like LibreWolf is because it removes a lot of the bloat that comes with Firefox. There is no news feed, no pocket integration, no Mozilla VPN, and no Mozilla data collection. LibreWolf to me is one of the cleanest, dare I say, purest versions of Firefox. The new tab page is just search and shortcuts, nothing else. Links to reset tab backgrounds exist, but the option to set them is either disabled or completely removed. LibreWolf uses DuckDuckGo for search with no option for Google by default. You can add Google, but it must be done manually. Mycroft website has a list of custom searches that you can apply to LibreWolf. LibreWolf comes with uBlock out of the box for ad tracking and content blocking. This is the full version, meaning you can apply filters, set custom filters, and access all the advanced options. LibreWolf's claim to fame is its privacy and security features. The enhanced tracking protection built into Firefox is set to strict in LibreWolf the highest level with no way to change it lower. Deleting cookies are enabled, search suggestions are disabled, and clearing history is enabled by default. Under LibreWolf's specific settings, the resist fingerprinting feature is enabled by default. If you're unfamiliar with resist fingerprinting, basically, when you go to a website, that website can track not just your IP address, but they can literally tell what operating system you're on, your device hardware, screen resolution, and window size, all of which can be used to develop a unique profile the resist fingerprinting feature helps stop websites from identifying you. As a consequence, whenever you open LibreWolf, it will always load with the same window size. LibreWolf also has an option for letterboxing, which will add bars around websites to further obfuscate your identity. WebGL is how websites can identify your graphics. It's disabled in LibreWolf by default. Besides the built-in content blocker and the added privacy options, that's really about it as far as features in LibreWolf. There are a few quality of life options in the LibreWolf specific settings. You can enable middle click to paste, allow custom CSS, and there's a couple of more privacy and security options. In addition, there are links to open the about config page and the profiles folders. While LibreWolf strips out stuff from Firefox and prioritizes privacy, Florp focuses more on speed and adds a ton of quality of life enhancements to the browser. Upon first launching Florp for the first time, not only can you import your data from the other browsers, like usual, but Florp also provides a few layout options and custom tab designs. You can add a side panel and or status bar to the browser or change the tab styles to look like the old Firefox, look like Chrome, or use the regular floating style tabs in the current Firefox. Unlike LibreWolf's desolate new tab page, Florp's new tab page is fully customizable similar to regular Firefox. Florp uses unsplashed photos for new tab backgrounds, but you can set these to your own backgrounds, either from a folder of pictures or use a single picture. Florp has a slew of tab design and layout options. You can enable multi-row tab bars, collapse vertical tabs, and enable adaptive tabs, a feature whereby the tab backgrounds will take the color of the website's favorite color. The tabs, bookmarks, and navigation bars can be moved to the bottom individually, and the find on page search box can be moved to the top. Florp supports split tabs, so you can view two tabs at the same time, both vertically or horizontally. There's a sleeping tabs feature in Florp, so after a certain amount of time of inactivity, tabs can free up resources. In Florp, you can create workspaces to manage multiple tabs, and each workspace can be assigned a container, allowing you to log in onto sites with multiple accounts. Florp has a completely customizable side panel. You can even add websites and assign them a specific container. Florp privacy and security settings are the same as regular Firefox, but you do get some additional tracking options, such as the resist fingerprinting that I discussed earlier. Let's talk about speed and performance of both browsers. Florp is going to be the faster of the two as it does come with speed enhancements out of the box. 
And if you apply the fastest configuration, FLORP will even be faster than Chromium on certain websites. In my opinion, FLORP is actually, if not one of the fastest variants of Firefox. LibreWolf's speed and performance is going to be pretty much the same as regular Firefox. Both browsers support syncing with your Mozilla Firefox account, so you can sync your bookmarks, history, passwords, and more. Sync is disabled in LibreWolf by default, however, and must be enabled. Because both browsers are just Firefox, they both support Firefox extensions and themes. All Firefox themes will adapt to Florp's custom tab styles, by the way, too. There are no mobile apps for LibreWolf or Florp, but some good alternatives are Phoenix and Ironfox for Android. These browsers are cleaner versions of Firefox Mobile for Android, but Ironfox focuses more on privacy and security and has that uBlock pre-install. I've covered both of these apps on the channel, so check them out if you're interested. Before I get to the winner of this little bout, I want to mention that I have videos on both LibreWolf and Florp, so check them out if you want even more details about the browsers. So in the battle between LibreWolf versus Florp, who's the winner? Florp! Florp brings Firefox on par with Chromium as far as speed and performance, while providing just enough quality of life improvements to justify making the switch and choosing it over LibreWolf. And it doesn't overdo it, but as usual, it really will depend on what you value most. LibreWolf wins if you want a more clean Firefox experience with strong privacy and security out of the box. Florp wins if you want more features, design options, speed, and a bit more tracking protection. So which is the winner for you? Let me know in the comments.